All right, let's talk about innervation of the muscles of facial expression. The innervation of muscles of facial expression is via cranial nerve number seven, that facial nerve proper, and it's specifically the branchial motor division of this nerve. And uh, these fibers arise from the pons, as do all parts of the facial nerve, and then they, uh, as soon as they course through the pons, they enter and traverse this opening called the internal acoustic meatus, where both cranial nerves seven and eight course through. Now, the facial nerve proper branch courses down this facial canal going through the temporal bone, the petrous part of the temporal bone, down to the base of the skull, and then exits between a hole between the mastoid and styloid processes called, appropriately, the stylomastoid foramen. Following exit of the stylomastoid foramen, the facial nerve gives rise to five branches prior to innervating the muscles of facial expression. And those five branches are, top to bottom, the temporal branch, the zygomatic branch, because they go by the temporal region and the zygomatic bone, and then through by the buccinator, the buccal branch, and then by the lower mandible, the mandibular branch, and finally in the neck, the cervical branch. And so the way to remember these is we take the first letter of each of these, and we take the letter T, and then Z, and then B, then M, and then C, and we make the, and then there's the acronym 2 Zanzibar by motor car, where the first letter of each of these branches make this little funny acronym. And I'm not quite sure about what it is about Zanzibar because it's not as if the first thing I'm thinking of is let's make a way to remember the five branches of the facial nerve. I know, Zanzibar, that's the first place come and let's throw a motor car in the mix as well. But anyways, that's how we remember to Zanzibar by motor car. Um, and so uh, here we've got in yellow again those branches of the facial nerve proper and there's the parotid gland. And so the facial nerve, those five branches go right through that parotid gland and then course out to innervate those muscles of facial expression. Now here's that thing I want to remember again about the facial nerve. The facial nerve closes your eye, as we see these branches going to muscles of facial expression like the orbicularis oculi. So facial nerve closes your eye, um, taste pie, corded tympani branch we'll cover again, closes your eye, taste by tie, makes you cry, lacrimal gland, the greater petrosal branch, again something different, but closes your eye, taste pie, makes you cry, and innervates all the glands in the head, except the one it goes through, this parotid gland. So the facial nerve goes through it, but does not provide visceral motor parasympathetic innervation to it. That's by cranial nerve 9. So thanks for Mark Nielsen for the beautiful cadaver pro section image to use, and also for two pictures that I drew in graduate school.